All right, well now we're doing 8Q, merge two sorted arrays into one by YY, and 92% of the people like it. We are given two sorted arrays that both contain integers. Our task is to find a way to merge them into a single one, sorted in ascending order. Complete the function merge arrays R with R1 and R2 as the arguments. I guess they were going to say that. Uh, and then you don't need to worry about validation since R1 and R2 must be arrays with zero or more integers. If both R1 and R2 are empty, then just return an empty array. Note, R1 and R2 may be sorted in different orders. Also, R1 and R2 may have same integers. Remove duplicated in the return result. So here it is. 1 through 5, 6 through 10, 1 through 9, odd, 10 through 2, even. Anyway, and you see, you get what's going on. It doesn't show any duplicates, so it's kind of... Anyway, there's definitely duplicates in this thing. Let me see where they are. Like, like here here's the duplicates right here anyway that being said let's get to it so first we're going to write return and uh we're going to concatenate these two which is we're going to use the uh array dot prototype dot concat which is a method to use to uh, merge two or more arrays this method does not change the existing arrays but instead re returns a new array all right so we're going to concatenate these by going r1.concat and r2. All right. And now we're going to do sort because they're going to be, this thing said it, they might be out of order somewhere right here, right here. So we're going to sort it by, by using this dot sort. Uh, the dot sort method uh, sorts the elements of an array in place and returns this sorted array. The default sort order is ascending, built upon converting the elements into strings, then comparing their sequences to UTF-16 code unit values. The time and space complexity of the sort cannot be guaranteed, as it depends on the implementation. So, I mean, as it says, we're just going to sort it. <laughs> so, oh, and here's the uh, syntax for it that we're going to use. We're going to use this uh, arrow function syntax. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you why. So we're going to do a uh, dot sort on top of that. We're going to do uh, x, y, and then have an arrow function, and then x minus y. All right. And that's just, that's just going to make uh, the x, I still haven't figured out y, but that's going to make the x the low number, and uh, it's just going to go in ascending order like that, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you know. Uh, and there's that for that. So now we've got to make it to where uh, the integers get, uh, where we removed any duplicates, right? So what we're going to do with that is wrap it up in another set of parentheses. We're going to say new, whoop, <laughs> new uh, set, and that's right here. And basically all you got to know is uh, because each value in the set has to be unique, the value equality will be checked and basically it's going to it's just saying that it's going to take out any duplicates uh so you do that and then you wrap this all in another one and you type array dot from and right here it's uh basically it's a static method that creates a new shallow copied array instance from an array like or iterable object so it just turns all that stuff guaranteed into an array. And that should be it. Let's see what happens. Up oh, there we go. Let's attempt it. All right, good. Submit it. All right. So my solutions, let's see where it's at, where we're at. Just a couple of us. Best practice for sure. All right, and I liked it a lot, and uh, we'll see you next time.